Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Rubber Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NASCAR Cup Series, Cryon 301 from New Hampshire Motor Speedway, 318.458 miles, 301 laps, three stages, 70, 115, and 116, fuel window 87, 394, eight sets of tires. Oh, it can be fun! So first stage, probably no pit stops unless somebody trades a short pit to get out in front for stage two. We know track position has always been king. Each of the other two stages, if I was a crew chief, I'd split those bad boys in half, maybe a little bit more than half, maybe like a 60-40 kind of split, or even a 40-60 on that stage two to try to get track position, especially if there's a lot of long green flag laps, which typically in New Hampshire there can be. In the last 16 races, Toyota has won nine Ford, six. Chevrolet, one. And that one win by Chevrolet was not Henry Motorsports. It was actually Stuart Haas Racing with Kevin Harvick. So, uh, um, Henry Motorsports doesn't do well here. All right, Christopher Bell. That boy can win at this track. 2017, one in the truck series. 2018 and 2019. And 2021, one in Xfinity car. 2022, one in a cup car. Um, so last year, stage one, Martin Truex Jr., Bubba Wallace, Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick. Stage two, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Kyle Larson, the top ten in the race, Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott, Bubba Wallace, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, Ross Chastain, Daniel, Daniel Suarez, and Kirk Bush. Remember, you can do two tire stops in New Hampshire and get away with it. If we remember what happened last year. The last three races at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Brad Keselowski has averaged 3.7 with a win. Kevin Harvick 5.3. Denny Hamlin 6.0. Martin Church Jr. 6.3. Ross Chastain 8.0. Chase Elliott 9.7. Christopher Bell 10.3 with a win. This is just cop, not Xfinity and truck for him. Kyle Larson 10.5. Joey Logano, 10.7. Eric Amarola, 13.0 in a win. That's right. A couple years ago, Eric Amarola got a victory here and made himself in the playoffs. Would that not upset the old apple cart if he could pull that off again? Him or even a Chase Briscoe? Oh, my God, that would upset the apple cart. Um, Kevin Harvick obviously runs extremely well here, has won four races here in this career. So, yeah, that would be no big shocker. But any of the other two um, Stuart Haas cars winning, that would throw a real monkey wrench on it. I know there's three other Stuart Haas cars, but I am not a Ryan Priest fan. And unlike some fan, part of the fan base, I can respect of the fact that he had six 20, top 20 finishes, but I'm not a fan. I don't root for him. Um, if he wins, fine. But I'm not going to root against him. I'm not going to badmouth him. He's a hell of a modified driver. But I'm just not a fan. Um, just don't care for him. Period. Done. See? See, that's the thing when some, some of the fan base out there, when you don't like a driver, that's all you got to say. You don't have to throw some other stuff, junk and garbage and vulgar mess out there. That's all you got to say. Um... So, yeah, I mean, if he wins, great. I mean, he, he runs well. Here's from here. He's going to race the SRX race here next next week. That's awesome. Or in uh, Stafford, I mean, that's awesome. All right. New Hampshire, Phoenix, and Richmond. Those are kind of the tracks that a lot of people, even though Gateway in there a little bit, because Gateway is kind of similar to these tracks as well. So, if you look at it just in 2023, Phoenix, Richmond, Gateway. Kyle Larson, 3.0 average finish with a win. Kevin Harvick, 6.6. Christopher Bell, 7.0. Joey Logano, 7.0. Kyle Busch, 7.6 and a win. Michael McDowell, 9.3. William Byron, 11.0 and a win. Martin Church Jr., 11.0. If you look at the last 10 races, New Hampshire, Phoenix, and Richmond, Kevin Harvick, 7.9 and a win. Ryan Blaney, 8.3. Joey Logano, 8.4 and a win. Christopher Bell, 9.2 and two wins. Chase Briscoe, 9.6 in a win. Remember last year he won at Phoenix. Ross Chastain, 9.9. 9. Kyle Larson, 10.3 and two wins. Willie B, 10.5 and two wins. Denny Hamill, 11.2 and a win. Chase Elliott, 11.25. If you look at 
intermediate tracks. So that's basically Dover, New Hampshire, Phoenix, Worldwide Technology, just like the mile tracks, a little over a mile, a little less than a mile track, or between a mile and a mile and a quarter. 17 races, Kevin Harvick, 8.1 and a win. Joe Logano, 8.9 and three wins. Martin Truex Jr., 10.5 and two wins. This is one of eight Martin Truex Jr. home tracks. Kyle Larson, 10.5 and a win. Denny Hamlin, 10.6 and a win. At New Hampshire, Kevin Harvick, four wins. Denny Hamlin, three wins. Kyle Busch, three wins. Joey Logano, two wins. And Brad Keselowski, two wins. Yeah, I know. I was so just all over the place on my picks and my fantasy. Um, but yeah, we'll get to those. Let's look at points. Seven races left. We have 11 different winners. Lee B with four wins. Got that fourth win last week. Congrats to him. Kyle Busch, three wins. Martin Truex Jr., two. Kyle Larson, two. Christopher Bell, Ross Chastain, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick, Ricky Stenhouse, each with one. We go to points. Kevin Harvick, plus 126. Chris, uh, Chris Buescher, plus 102. Brad Kazlowski, plus 101. Suarez and Michael McDowell, each plus three. Unfortunately, Bubba Wallace fall out of the top 16. He's minus three. AJ Allmendinger, minus 13. Tag Gibbs, minus 26. Austin Sendrick, minus 38. Justin Haley, minus 41. Alex Bowman, minus 44. And Chase Elliott, minus 60. One thing that I've noticed is kind of weird, especially this year, because like last year, we had Kurt Busch get the win, unfortunately, at Pocono, which is we one year next week. He got the concussion-like symptoms and been out ever since. And we had the 45 make the playoffs. They put Bubba Wallace in that 45. And so the 45 was in the playoffs, but Bubba wasn't. A lot of people were confused by that. We're trending for 2023 to have two cars in the playoffs and the drivers not be. So the owner points right now, we go, it's close to what the actual points are. So it goes Byron, Truex, Bush, Bell, Hamlin, Chastain. Hamlin's driver points are less than the owner points. Because of that penalty he got. Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, Kevin Harvey, Joey Logano, Chris Buescher, Brad Keselowski. Well, pretty much match the playoffs. Here's where it differs. Number nine, Chase Elliott. The number nine car, is, Hendrick Motorsports number nine, is in the owner playoff. But, but Chase isn't. 45 to Red, Reddick. 47 to Stenhouse. The 48 of Bowman. In the owner playoffs. But not in the driver playoffs. Suarez and McDowell. Out of the owner playoffs, but the drivers are in the driver playoffs right now. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be that kind of weird season. So you can literally have Hendrick Motorsports win the owner championship, the nine or the forty-eight, and either a different Hendrick car or somebody all else together win the championship. So yeah, it, it could be one of those weird years. Now there's something else I've been watching this year. The owner points charter the bottom. So with this charter agreement. If you finish in the bottom three, three straight years, NASCAR has the right to revoke the charter. We've never came across where this was a thing. You know, matter of fact, let's pull the exact verbiage of that up. All right, I can't find the exact verbiage, but I believe if you're in the bottom three, two, three years in a row, they have their, I actually did a video about this earlier in the year. So if you look at the bottom of the charter, so right now the 78 to be Jimmy McLeod is last by 33 points. 35th is the 77 for Spire Motorsports, minus 12. The 42 is 34th, minus 2. The 51 is plus 2. And then the 15 is plus 31. This year, going into this year, what was the 15 charter became the 51, so they flipped. So if you look at last year, the bottom three was the 78, the 51, and the 15. In 2021, the 15, the 53, and the double zero were the bottom three. The 53 charter became the seven for Corey LaJoy. The double zero became the 45 for, Tyler, for Kurt Busch, now Tyler Reddick. Once you transfer that charter, that bottom three goes away. So the ones that were in the bottom three last year, 78, 51, and 15. The ones that the 15 charter, like I said, became the 51, according to jsky.com, I got that article here, bookmarked here. It talks about all the charters and when, who owns which one and all that stuff. So let's see here. If it'll, it was just there. Was it at? Uh, 
Oh, I clicked on penalties, not charters. That's why. There's the charter one. So it talks about oh, like what charters became what. So like for example, the one Ganassi charter became the one track pass when track pass bought Ganassi. So if you look at the 15 charter currently, let's find it here. Yeah, because of they what they started with and what they are now. So the 51 charter was the 15 last year for Rick Ware, and this year so it was a it was a 15 for Premium Motorsports. And then it became the 15 for Rick Ware for two years. And then this year it was renumbered to the 51. So they swapped. So last year, so the 15 charter has been in the bottom three two years in a row. The 15 charter is the 51 charter this year. So I don't know if swapping the numbers, even with the same team, resets that. I haven't heard that. But the 51 is plus two to be in the bottom three. So it'll be interesting to see what... If anything, NASCAR were to do. I know there's talk the charter is going away at the <clears throat> at the end of 2024 for the new TV agreement. So there's so much that's still up in the air about that, but that's to be determined. Which I actually plan on doing another fantasy booking of the schedule with TV partners and radio partners and all that. I got a whole big plan in my head. I just have to find time to sit down and put on pen and paper to it. All right. So the picks to win the Crayon 301 in New Hampshire. Christopher Bell, got to go with him. Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson. Those are my four picks. As for NASCAR Fantasy Live, I am in the TMD League. I'm in a couple other leagues as well. Um, the Fantasy Live game, if you've never played it before, it's hell of fun, I think. For me, it is, at least. Um, so what you do is, before the race starts, you pick six drivers. Your five starters and your one in the garage. Put them in the garage. And that's literally what it says, the garage pick. So like I'm in the TMD league, I am currently like, uh, how long am I in this league? League. I am 1,404 in the league, and there's 4,100 members of the league. So when I go to my roster, I got five picks, and then I have a garage pick. So my five picks in for this race, and you can use these drivers up to 10 times. Sometimes you get to do load management. Sometimes you just let her rip, let her rip, tater chip. So my picks this week are for Fantasy Live is Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Christopher Bell. I am putting Bubba Wallace in there with that third place last year. Um, he has ran well here. I got confidence in him. I think they can bounce back this week. And then Joe Logano. And I have Kyle Larson in the garage. So of all my picks, Larson's in the garage. And then I have my three picks, Harvick. Denny Hamlin and Christopher Bell. And then I add in Logano and Bubba Wallace. What the garage does for you, so if, for example, Joey Logano gets in a crash, and Kyle Larson is above him, or even at the end, before the end of stage two, if Logano is just not running well and Larson is, I can swap those out. But those are the fantasy picks. Those are the picks for the race. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.